There's been a lot of requests in the comments of some videos about how to add your own graphics to Football Manager 2024. So I'm going to take you through creating a config file today and all the different things you can do in a config file and the format thing uh, that things need to be in. So on screen right now, you can see a temp config file that I've created. It's got all of the options possible for what you might need going forward in the future. Uh, there's some instructions on how we're going to do it and we'll go through an example as well. I'll have to cover everything that's in this file. I'll also put a download link when I've uploaded it onto the Sort It Out SI website for you to download this file yourself. Uh, and we'll go through an example and show you exactly what happens when you put it in game and where you need to put it and what you need to put in there. So, uh, your first thing you need to do is when you get this file, you need to rename it to config.xml and save it in the same folder as any graphics that you wish to load. Uh, in all of the lines below, you need to replace picture with the file name. So, there's no, obviously, without file in extension, and replace unique ID with the unique ID in the game of either the player, the club, the nation, anything, the league, anything like that. And you can delete any lines in here as appropriate. Only keep the things you are loading in, but keep the temp config file separate so you can always just copy and paste it again. Right, uh, you can see here faces. Uh, you can put in a portrait, an icon, which is basically the small version of the face, and a background. All you need to do there is find out a person's unique ID, either player or staff, and you put it in this format. You don't need all three of them, but you can do so if you wish. Uh, then with clubs, so you'll notice that sometimes it says clubs, sometimes it says team. Uh, for logos, icons and backgrounds, it's club. For kits and another section of backgrounds, it's team. Trial and error is what you want to do with the backgrounds, that's for sure. Uh, but you'll notice that the 2D kits are just kits and the 3D kits are kit textures. Again, follow the paths here and just copy and paste them whenever you are adding in new things that you want to add to the game. Uh, competitions, you can do logos, trophies, the 3D balls and backgrounds. Again, I'd recommend downloading a ball pack and a trophy pack, all available on the Sort It Out SI website, along with all of the logos, obviously, that we've done a video on before. But this is the format you need to put them in here. Uh, then for nations, again, nation logo, an icon, as well as a background, all things that you can put in into game. Again, with confederations as well. I mean, there's only seven of them, so, you know, the continents, or six of them, six or seven? Anyway, uh, the continents there have their own ID uh, with logo, icon, background. Stadiums, again, the stadiums all have their own unique ID. The stadium is the small stadium inside picture that you get on the club profile page, and the background is the big background that you can get on other pages as well. So they are all the things you can include in the config file, and these are the things I've included in this uh, dummy one, basically, to show you. This is the entirety of my graphics folder. There's nothing else in here apart from the Arsenal logo, three kits, and Declan Rice's face. So this is the config file brought up here, which is just covering these five things that we're going to put into game. Uh, anything with a um, triangle bracket exclamation mark is a co is a comment. It doesn't matter. You can leave that in there. So record from Rice, which is the file name, to the person ID. So I found his uh, unique ID of 28106. 491 uh, and then the same with Arsenal so I've taken the club logo of 602 uh, and put that into the logo book 602 is Arsenal's unique ID and done the same with all three kits and then we've loaded it into the game done the usual reload skin that you can see on all the other videos on how to install your graphics and it's there you can see Arsenal's logo and the three kits are all there Declan Rice's face there we'll go into the squad list as well and find any random player and show you that their face hasn't been in so I'm not like cheated and added an extra pack in anywhere else uh, you can see as well none of the other players here on this screen are included Declan Rice isn't in the squad so you can't see his face uh, but yeah that's just an example that they are including just the things we've put in and nothing else so if you put in all of the other things then just want to add your own graphics and supplement the packs that you've downloaded this is the way to do it to keep the config file and all of the files you're wanting to put in in a separate folder within your graphics folder so as not to interfere with anything else you've already loaded in and used any of the install guides that we've got available here on the Sorted Out SI YouTube channel. Uh, it's definitely a trial and error basis. Uh, all of the things listed in the temporary config file, which I'll put the link in, as I've said, in the description to download that. They're the things that you can put in. I'll keep adding to that if I find more things that I've not included. If you see something that's got a download, a graphics pack somewhere that's not included in here and you'd like to see it included, let me know and I can add that in as well. If you're struggling to create the config file and get it to work, I'll try and troubleshoot as best I can in the comments. But it's basically the, the best advice I can give you is try. And if it doesn't work, change a few things. Look at downloads that you've done for other graphics and see how they're worded. If their word is slightly different to what you've done, it's just trial and error until you get something to work. And that's the best way of learning, basically, is to just try using this template, add and remove things as you go as you see fit. 
and give it a shot. And let me know in the comments if you've managed to install any extra graphics that you wanted to add into the game. So you've added yourself as a player and you want to add your face in and find your unique idea that way. It's per perfectly easy to do once you know how to do it and you've done a few attempts and got the hang of how to work the config file. So uh, yeah, anything else, let me know in the comments and I'll see you on the next video. Hope you've enjoyed this one and managed to install some extra graphics.